Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm going to be doing a review of Airy Calm Mind on Xbox. Now this is one of the four currently released Airy games. It's available on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, so I have backwards compatibility. And it's priced normally at £8.39. Now the game was released on the 23rd of the 7th. 2021 developed by Epixar Games and it's published by them as well and I've played the first game in the Airy series and I've got one of the others but I, I had a bug on that and it just ruined the fun for me so I was looking forward to jumping back in to the Airy franchise and having a play so um, for those who don't know Airy is a sort of interactive sort of peaceful sort of chilling game where you basically play as a bird flying around various environments uh, collecting feathers so um, there are multiple levels and every level is split into two parts so it says the first part is an introduction into the overall theme of that level and then the second area gives a little more time to play around and enjoy the beauty of the area so they're normally a bit bigger the second areas um, there are no enemies or any kind of dangers in the game, apart from crashing. If you crash, you just go back to the spawn uh, and then you just keep going, but you, you don't lose any progress or anything like that. And you basically, you're told at the beginning of the game as you start um, how many feathers are needed to be collected, and you just fly around the areas finding them. Now, I'm sure when I played the original area, there was a set amount of feathers per level and it was a lot more sort of linear sort of you were flying in through tunnels and stuff like that whereas this one there there seems to be a lot more feathers per level than needed on most of the levels so say you need 25 there's probably 30 on the level so you don't actually have to collect them all which i thought was a, a nice touch this may be uh, the case in all of the other airy games but i don't remember it being the case in number one but i could be wrong it has been like a year since i played it now once you've completed the first level uh, like two areas of the first level it that again the game then opens up and is uh, you can basically pick which level you want to play next which i thought was really nice so there's no set order you can just pick and choose which ones you want to do and work your way through them now the game itself you're looking at a couple of hours to complete um you'll not really struggle like i say there's no difficult levels there was one level where it's got like chess pieces on that i had to play twice because i just couldn't find the last one it turns out there was like a, you could fly between some mountains and go around the back and there was a, a group of feathers but other than that, I didn't have any difficulty playing the levels. I just sort of would chilled out, enjoying the sort of calm, relaxingness of it. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Now, there's a large amount of different areas and different variety of sort of level designs in this game. So like this one is like a castle. There's one in a space. There's a sort of feudal Japan one. There's one in like flying islands with giant flying whales and stuff like that. There's like a cowboy town one. Uh, so they're all, there's a nice variety there. There's one that's like a um, volcano with like dinosaurs around it, which I thought was really cool as well. And like I say, you, all you do, spend your time listening to like the calming sort of music, flying around and grabbing the feathers. Now, if you've played any uh, Epics of Games previously, you'll know that these uh, are pretty good for achievements like i say all the achievements are tied basically to the level completions so once you complete all the levels you'll have gotten all the achievements no real struggle so for all your achievement hunters out there it's an easy 1000 gamer score in a couple of hours now you do also have the opportunity to replay all the levels as you wish now the only downside is as the levels are split into two sections you can't just play the second section or the first section you have to play them both um so that is the only downside i wish they could split them down once you've completed them but from what i can gather you just play if you pick which section you want and then you have to play both of the levels for that section basically now, like I said, the game is playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, and it is Xbox One X enhanced, 
uh, and that includes 4K resolution and HDR10. But like I say, I highly recommend it. It's a fun little chillaxing game, easy to um, complete, and you're going to enjoy it. And it's only priced at £8.39. But that's that for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll be putting a few airy videos up in the future. There's a brand new one coming out in January, so hopefully I'll do a review of that as well. But that's that. Bye for now, guys.